Hello, Facebook. Hello, Facebook Live. Um, I think I'm live. Not 100% sure. Facebook has changed the live dashboard again um, for creators here. Uh, so if you go live on a the computer, they've changed it again. So I had new buttons to press today. And I am live. It looks like there's my notification. Great. And um, let's do a little sound check here. Perfect. Sound check is good. All right. So it is the 22nd of September, first day of fall. And um, I apologize. I've been kind of MIA here on Facebook Live on some live streams. Uh, I've not done one since, I don't think since last Thursday, right, Jamie? I don't even think that. Did I do one on Friday? I don't know. You had a great meeting. It's been, a, it's been almost five days. People are saying, are you okay? I'm getting messages, are you okay? Like, we haven't seen you on. Some people saw our Sunday night stream. Um, it was titled, We're Exhausted. And yes, Jamie and I have been exhausted. Uh, we've been missing some staff in the kitchen temporarily. They weren't feeling well. We didn't get you know, negative tests back, that kind of stuff. So um, um, they'll be back uh, tomorrow. Um, but Jamie and I and Courtney and I were in the kitchen this weekend. So, and it wasn't three of us at the same time. It was either Jamie and I or Courtney and I, because on Saturday we were catering a wedding off premise. So Jamie was with that. So I was literally from Friday, uh, starting Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I was literally in the kitchen at 8 a.m. in the morning until literally, oh my gosh, 9.30 at night, 10 o'clock, 10.30. I have to rush out. I had to rush out of the kitchen to place our orders, our one uh, bow door. They um, have a 10 o'clock cutoff. So I have to get on the computer and get it by 9.30. Then I have to go back in and clean up. And all weekend of that, um, Jamie and I in there doing everything ourselves, we were exhausted. It was it was a lot of work. Um, so I would have been in there anyway helping if we had the two other cooks, uh, two other people in the kitchen, Michelle, our chef, and, and the, uh, anybody else that would have been, I would have been fine. We just had two cooks recently leave us um, about two, three weeks ago, which we weren't going to replace them because, you know, we're slowing down. So it was perfect. It was actually working out perfect. Um, but when there's nobody in there, it creates um, it creates a lot of um, a lot more work for Jamie and I. And we're in the office anyway, early in the morning working and doing stuff. But it was just an exhausting, exhausting weekend. And um, even yesterday, I was cooking. And I have stuff ready to probably do a little prep work today. And Monday morning, I was in the kitchen at 7:30 making potato salad, coleslaw, mashed potatoes, making a bunch of things just to get caught up so we could just open that day. Uh, and, uh, so Tuesday and Wednesdays were closed. Yesterday we celebrated Jamie's father's 70th birthday. So we went out to a winery, Fjord Winery in Marlboro. Then we went to get some oysters and eat on the waterfront in Newburgh. And, um, it was a fun, fun day yesterday. Fun day yesterday after we got all of our stuff done. Our schedule was jam packed up until 2.30. I mean, appointment after appointment after appointment after appointment. Um, let's see. Uh, so tomorrow we open at five o'clock. Um, Saturday, it's Friday, Thursday, and Friday we open at five o'clock. We unfortunately are not going to be able to do as many um, because of the lack of, of team members in the kitchen. We were, weren't able to launch our um, menu for Oktoberfest yet, but we will be having certain items on our Oktoberfest menu starting tomorrow, like bratwurst uh, from Jacuterie, which is a local producer that makes sausages and. And salami is uh, dry cured and fresh sausages. Uh, we have their we have their bratwurst. It just came in today from the farm, uh, from the farm hub. Uh, just got delivered today, so that'll be in tomorrow. Uh, on tomorrow, we have local Hawthorne Valley sauerkraut. Uh, their uh, lacto cultured uh, sauerkraut, which is amazing. That's that's in. Uh, so that is what's happening. Uh, starting tomorrow, we'll have a couple of our Oktoberfest. We have an Oktoberfest beer on that's from Great Life Brewing. Uh, Cody brewed up an awesome Marzen that he barrel aged in taconic rye barrels for about, I think he said 30 or 60 days. Kept the alcohol low, still at 6%, and it's a beautifully barrel aged Marzen uh, Oktoberfest style beer with uh, some barrel aging that all oh, we're the only restaurant that is actually getting that. Um, we have a few connections. Uh, obviously, Cody. Uh, it's a tap room only release, uh, but we were able to get one for our beer dinner on Monday, so we still have this keg around. So come enjoy that very special Mars and beer. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, we should probably put our banner out front saying that we have some Oktoberfest specials now. Uh, Jamie and I are getting ready to go to Mexico next week. Uh, we leave on Sunday morning, early, early Sunday morning. Uh, and we're going down to the Guadalupe Valley, uh, which is near Ensenada. Ensenada is like the beginning of the, uh, the Guadalupe Valley. There's 201 wineries down there. So we're super excited about that. Uh, check out the wineries. And our email this week was talking about our Finger Lake trip. Our Finger Lake trip is this uh, November 5th to the 7th. And we're taking 14 people. We have, I think, two spots left, maybe three spots left. Uh, there was one single person that had reserved. So we might have, a, we might have, I'm not sure what exactly we have, but if you call us, call Jamie. Jamie knows all the information on that, 647-3000. Drop us an email. Call us as best, 647-3000. Uh, that is going to be a very, very fun trip. Jamie and I are going to take you around all weekend long throughout the Finger Lakes to all of the best wineries that we know with 170-some wineries down there uh, up in the Finger Lakes. Uh, there's about Jamie and I were kind of figuring out how many wineries we've been to. We thought it, we we kind of figured it was about 50 wineries we've been to in the Finger Lakes, about 50 different wineries uh, over the years. And I would say probably 30 of them I would buy their wine, and I probably can narrow it down to the top 10 uh, producers of wine or 12 producers that we feel are the are the best of the best up there and these are the places that we take you to are the best or the best of the best so we narrow it down there's a lot of wineries that we visited that we will not buy from um even that happens in italy and it happens in spain as well that we just won't buy their wines we're not so happy with and might not it might not even be the quality that we don't like it might just be that it's a too big of a brand too big of a house it wasn't what we thought it was uh so things can um things can be different and and even there was one local winery um here in the hudson valley where i just didn't like like love their wine i was ready to pour their chardonnay by the glass and um the owner just didn't give us a good feeling didn't give us a good feeling at all and uh, the owner just recently said, said hello to us at an event uh i was surprised she even remembered us because she like totally ignored us the first time that we were talking to her so it's unfortunate uh we have to like you too you have to have more than you have to have more than a good product. You have to actually you have to be likable, too. So uh, we like doing business with people that we like. We do business with people that we like. We're all like that to a certain extent. <clears throat> we want to support people that um, that are likable. Anything else I'm missing, Jamie? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, yes. We'll be open for takeout only on Thanksgiving. We did takeout only last year, takeout only this year on Thanksgiving. Um, so you... Make sure you get your orders in early. It's thirty-five dollars a person. That includes everything, right from soup to dessert. It's a great, great, great meal. It's on our website, uh, Thanksgiving Day menu, and it's on our website already. So check that out and uh, reserve ahead of time. We have very limited, very limited spots for that. I think last year we sold out of doing that, and then of course New Year's Eve we'll probably do the same thing as last year. The whole party pack again for New Year's Eve. Um, so that's it, folks. That's it for now. Jamie, you doing a uh, happy hour live today? Yeah. Cocktail time with Jamie, about four-ish or so. We did send out an email today with a recipe for, what was today's cocktail, Courtney? Well, um, yeah, so the title is incorrect. Um, so we apologize about that. But it was the cocktail that we had. What? Um, I don't, I... The title, was it a blood orange or something, it something? blood orange. Blood orange old fashioned. Blood orange old fashioned fashion is today's drink. So open it up. Recipes in there, the pictures in there. By the way, if you were tuning in live. Okay, ooh, that sounds good. Blood orange old fashioned. Yeah. If you were tuning in, just drop a comment. Hashtag live. If it was on the live, it was on the replay. Hashtag replay. If it's on YouTube, it's always on the replay. And that's it, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Really, really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later. Have a great day.